Welcome all to another episode of How to Draw Duty Live, and this episode is brought to you by... We have just a few reasons why you should pick up a copy of Disney in My Toilet, book number three, I Chihuahua, today. Hello, everybody. Uh, hold on one second. Let's get this image out the way. Welcome to another episode of How to Draw Duty Live. I'm your host with the most, um, Sam. Sam the Crazy Member. I'm also, I am an independent comic book creator, and I am a podcaster, uh, host of Catch the Craze podcast. Uh, in fact, I got to check change that to, boom, <laughs> uh, a podcaster. Uh, Cast the Craze podcast, but we promote guys like me, independent creators who are just trying to make their way in the game, in the comic book community. And uh, if you're on this channel, then you'll be able to see some of these fans, fantastic interviews that we've had with musicians and artists and writers and publishers and editors and promoters. Um, but you're on this channel because you want to see me draw, hopefully, and you like what I do. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. But uh, I want to remind everybody, we're down to 13 and a half days on my Kickstarter campaign, and we're this close to being funded. We're about $245 away from being funded. And I would like for you to get yourself a copy of the book. There's nearly in my toilet. Book number three, I Chihuahua, which is right here. And it's a fun-filled uh, adventure book for the entire family. For, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. If you like to laugh, you'll love this book. Here's some sample pages from the book, and you can see there's some there's a chihuahua lunging at an alien. His name is Duty. Here's some other sample pages. It's fun if you follow the series. You know that Duty um, crash landed on Earth. He had some problems in the wild. You know, he's attacked by bears and wolves and snakes and uh, squirrels and woodpeckers. I mean, red ants. Duty has become a samurai, and in this story, he finally gets into a house, and in the house is a chihuahua named Herman, and the chihuahua knows that there's an intruder in the house, so it is his mission to find this intruder, and upon encountering this intruder, he thinks it's a talking jalapeno. He's never seen anything like this, this big green talking thing, and so the rivalry begins. Duty has to evade Herman. Herman has to get Duty. The father thinks that the dog is losing his mind. The son is seeing things at night. The world is going upside down for this family. Plus, the government is has tracked through this UFO where it crash landed, and they have possession of the UFO. So things are about to get hairy for duty and really, really fast. So I'd love for you to pick up a copy of the book today. Um, there's multiple covers. There's also uh, this is cover B. So if you're if if you're more inclined to like this cover, you have an option of picking A or B. But um, there's also an homage cover, a variant cover that's a separate tier. Um, if you like The Shining, you like horror, psychological thrillers, and Jack Nicholson, then uh, Here's Duty is for you. And then what I'm most proud of is the fact that um, this is the first project right here, Duty Monsters on Planet Cthulhu, that I did everything. I did the cover, I did the coloring, I did the writing, I did the lettering, I did everything on this book. So this is my first book in 10 years that I did by myself, um, and it's available also on the campaign now. If you've backed Disneyland in my toilet book three, but you didn't add this to your basket, which you can add this to do these monsters on Planet Cthulhu to your basket. I'm asking you if you add this now, and I'm going to put it in my update today after the live draw. If you add it, I'm going to throw in a print, a free print, by you just coming back and adding it to your basket. So, so physical tiers, if you, you, you've gotten the physical copy of number three, and you didn't add this, if you come back and add this, you'll get a free physical print um, as a thank you for adding this to your basket. You don't want to miss this. This is one of three mini series. This won't be available as a floppy in stores. It will be collected at the end of next year or, um, and as a graphic novel and put into stores as a graphic novel. So floppies, you'll only be able to get on Kickstarter and at the Comic-Cons. Um, <clears throat> and then finally, 
if you had a young one, a four-year-old, and I'd love for you to introduce your little ones to um, Disneyland in My Toilet. But if you really don't not sure about Disneyland in My Toilet, there's Duties Adventures for your four-year-old. And this is interactive learning, education, fun. Every page turn has trivia questions uh, where the parent and guardian can test the kid's knowledge on what they just read. And then best of all, at the end of the book, your child can actually write their own ending. There's pages in the book dedicated for the child to write inside the book. And there's also three pages for them to draw their own characters. So with that said, today I'm going to be drawing Ichibod Crane. It was a recommendation by uh, Joe D. McPhee of, um, was it, uh, for the desk of the Small Press Publisher podcast. And um, But before we do, we got to start the show and I got to get the intro going. So if I can get this here, we're going to get the intro going right now. Right. There you go. Hi, I'm Vera. Wait, hold on. I'm Vera. Well, we're both Veras. Anyway, welcome to Drawing Duty, where I take my favorite character, Duderius Uranius, from There's an Alien in My Toilet, and I put him in all sorts of costumes, from your most iconic characters to just a pirate, or even uh, Thundercats, or a bandit. Well, every day, I take duty and I have fun, and I'm glad that you're here to have fun with me. If you have time, please check out dutiesworld.com, and if you like this episode and every episode before it, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much, and let's start drawing. All right, so now let's get the music going, guys. Um, hold on, I gotta get the music. Music is playing. All right. So yesterday, this is what I did. I did duty as Santa. I was a you know a spoof on the on the Grinch, and there's Herman. So today he's gonna be Itchy Bot Crane. I got a reference for Itchy Bot Crane's. Um, let me get this out the way. Do not save. All right, cool. Now file new. So I got a reference for his uniform. Um, so I want to because I've never illustrated him before. So what I want is like a spooky scene. So I'm going to start with the character first and then eventually go into the scene. And everybody who's at New York Comic Con, I hope you guys have a profitable weekend at the New York Comic Con. I wish I was there with you guys, but unfortunately now that I live in Texas, it is just too expensive for me to, um, tr to do that show. Um, I'm going to put this like this for a second. Uh, you know, hotel and all that stuff in New York. It's a little too expensive for me. So I'll stick to on my my uh, time in Texas. Uh, yeah, I want... Uh, I want, like... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Like... Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out the look I want for this. So that's this is where let's get the eyes first. So uh, I know New York Comic Con is going on because uh, there was a uh, a lot of you not not present at the uh, morning brew this morning with uh, George and I. Um, so, uh, and you know, I was like, wait, what's different? And it's like, oh, the New York Comic Con's on. That's why we don't have our regulars. A lot of people are probably attending there or, uh, but, uh, shout out to, um, Barney Smith and, um, Michael San Martino for, uh, sponsoring the episode of the Morning Brew this morning. And Ichibot has this hat. It's a unique looking hat. I gotta make sure I get that right. It's almost like a, it's almost like a, a pilgrim hat. Um, right, uh, let me see if I got another angle of this hat. It's a weird looking hat. Does it have a feather? I need some more images of his hat. Yes. 
I don't have enough images of his hat. I should have got a close up of the hat. Okay, there it is. There you go. I'm gonna do that. Ah, uh, so we're looking. We're looking, cat. Yeah, I'm do that. And he has a ponytail, so I might give Zuzu Duty a ponytail. Um, but then he has this big collar, he has his scarf. Um, so I'll get that in a second. So I think I'm gonna put like. like this this uh let's get this here oh, let's get this here boom get this here it's gonna have his hands like so he's gonna have the belly let's get the belly going um uh, so i'm gonna try to make this cre creepy project follow um but i'm trying to uh, get like Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the hand position. I know. I'm, I'm going to put like a lantern. Turn. Uh, let's see one second. Okay. This is what I want. Just like the skinny thing here this little hook there and he has like a look at this round thing here round thing here the glass All right and there's gonna be like a little flame inside so there's his lantern all right so let's get the <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I just want to get the, the, the feet in there. I got to get his clothing, his attire. So he has like these tights. He has this collared shirt. He has these, like, these spandex type things and long socks with these funky shoes. I wonder if I should put duty with the funky shoes. We'll see. All right, maybe. Well, the shoes don't point up. I don't know why I pointed it up, so. That's, uh, I gotta give duty big feet, so. So I'm gonna do that. Change this foot. I don't like the angle of this foot. Yeah, so if you missed this morning's episode of the Morning Brew, check it out. We, you know, we talked about a lot of things. We talked about what Hasbro or Mattel is doing with um, crowdfunding to uh, get people to invest in their toys. Um, we talked about McFarlane's announcement. Um, you 
you know uh, I right, got that handkerchief there he's got these big shoulder type things here <laughs> yeah no right um, I'm actually gonna do a creepy Christmas scene with this one um, what's up buddy uh, He's got those buttons right here. All right. He's got that jacket with the, he got a big old button there. Uh, maybe, maybe close it up a little. Maybe another button there. I'll do two. There you go. Bring it lower. All right. Those big shoulder pieces. Uh, that uh, what kind of belt does he have I, I don't see a belt I'm trying to get his uniform down pat Where's your belt, buddy? Uh, let's see. Do you even have a belt with those spandex pants on? Let's see. Nobody, not one image shows reference of belts. Okay, so there's no belt. I don't see a belt. I just see the jacket. So I'm just going to wing it with a belt. Let's just pretend he does have a belt. Okay, we just do this. And then he has those tights around here. Then he has the, he has the buckle on the shoe. Like a uh... well, he's got that, and then I'm going to give, and uh, I'm going to give him duty to ponytail. I get you by. We give him the ponytail. That is bomb, bomb, bomb. All right? He's got the ponytail. There it is. So he's got the lantern. This comes out here. Goes right here, boom. Okay, so it's got the lantern, he's in the dark. So, what I want is hmm. all right, he's got that, he's got that. Where's my other thing? Oh, there it is. All right, this is what I want. Okay, so let's ink it before I do any of the backgrounds. Who's at my door? Let's see. Delivery. Okay. Let's ink this bad boy. Let's zoom in. Okay, let's...
I think I'm gonna move this to 15 because it's a little too thick. My hand just curved there. I wonder what it would have been like to be an illustrator for Disney. I wonder if I would have been bored drawing the scene because I think the, the, the illustrators get a character. And um, they're like working on that same character all day in different poses. I don't know if it would I have been bored. Probably would have. Who knows? You know, but I remember when I was a kid, I used to want, I used to like fascinate about what would it be like to work for, you know, Disney. I don't know if it's Epcot Center where they have the tour of the studio. Um, I love, I haven't done that. I've always wanted to do that. Um, I love the, uh, the series that Disney had, the artist series. Um, Pack is delivered. So Todd McFarlane is not writing or directing the Spawn movie like he said he was. Um, I think um, he found the writers uh, acclaimed Hollywood writers to write the, uh, the screenplay. Uh, So he's not doing it, which is interesting. Uh, so I think the studio's like, look, we want to uh, do your movie, but we don't think you're the right person for it. To write it, um, we'll fund it, but we need to get uh, pros on there. And uh, so it's interesting to see. <laughs> yeah, yes. But he's like, oh, what did I get myself into?
Interesting. You know, it's funny because <clears throat> until you mentioned it yesterday, I forgot all about this character. And um, so now I, you know, because I'm drawing it and I started remembering it, I don't remember all the details. I have to go back and watch it again, which I don't mind doing because I love this stuff. So it's uh, it was interesting. I was like, oh, I forgot all about him. I don't know how, but let's get this out of the way. Oops, there you go. <laughs> right his neck. And what else am I missing? All right, let's zoom out. Okay, so now what is his colors? That's the that's what I need is the color. So it's green. So it's a green coat. Green, green well interesting because he's green so it's gonna be fun oh i didn't get this over here what i'm just missing okay duty and herman let me get this colors create a folder create a layer make this the source drop the colors it's gonna be a lot of green with this one. Mm, I need this. Hold on one second. Yeah. Zoom in. That's it, the yellow, dark green. All right, so now he's got a dark green jacket, a pink scarf. All right, let's get that going. Dark green jacket, so he's dark green. clean this up and get those holes Woo! you're gonna make me steady I gotta go back and figure this out that color too okay forgot about that and he was see I all those details I forgot all about bro all those details it's like can't believe I forgot all that stuff I gotta go back and watch. Okay. So the jacket, I'm gonna put them all on different layers. This one. So that he has. I'm 
then he has a real great one. Give him maybe a prey? No. No. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, 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 you can add me to that collective. Shoes are brown. I mean, it's been a while since I've uh, seen Sleepy Hollow. Um, Oh, what was the name of that TV show? Oh, nice. So I'm leaving it with the flats for now, because what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get duty in here. Um, I wanna create a background first. So I'm getting texts as I'm doing this. So I want it to be creepy and spooky 
um, but let's see, like maybe a grayish, bluish, grayish blue. Let's leave that for now. And then the background is going to be like a dark. Let's hide him. It's like a dark blue. I don't know what's going on. I just dropped the color. Oh, there it is. Boom. Okay. There you go. I'll do duty's highlights once I get figure out the palette. And then I'm gonna do one in the front. I'm gonna have them curved, almost like a. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do one in the front. I'll do it black. So we're gonna go from here. Oh, actually. In the front, there you go. Nope. All right, and then let me get some. First, let's hide you, and let's hide you and you. And let me drop the color in there. So, boom, boom. Okay, there you go. All right, cool. I want a thicker brush. You just heard my dogs. And I want another one from here. I want. The one in the back behind him, right? Oops, got a big brush. Oh. Maybe some small ones in the background. Are you a Sherlock Holmes fan as well? I 
something like that. that 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 now let's take this and make it a little lighter right and then let's get some darkness in the background Okay. Let you help. And then maybe a little lighter in the center. Right? Get some spook spookiness coming through. Okay, you got that. Alright. So now that I have the gist of what I'm looking for here. Yeah, I can add some mist and all that stuff. So alright, let's start with I'll do the trees first. Have you seen uh, Amelia Holmes? The one with um, the actress from uh, Stranger Things? And with um, Henry Cavell as Holmes? Jeez, I keep doing that. That's the one about what she's, uh, I think his daughter or his sister. I think she's his sister or his daughter, one or the two. Um, uh, they uh, did one, uh, um, they're working on the second part now. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was a, a good twist on it. I used to watch the Sherlock Holmes on Channel 13 when I was a kid. The old Sherlock Holmes stuff. Yeah, no, it's, I, I actually enjoyed it. My wife hasn't seen it yet.
Mm. Yeah, I like I like her version of what she's doing and how the story that they write they've written for her. It's um pretty entertaining. You know, she I think she's a a really good actress. Okay, got that. Take that like that. And then what I'll do is We'll add a moon, not like we always do in the background, so let's get a moon in there. Maybe a little brighter. Hey, a woman scorned. Just saying. Let's get this out of the way. Let's delete that. There, that's what I want. I was wondering why nothing was working. Okay, that's what I want.
let me save this before it crashes. <laughs> That's the last thing I need is to have to start this all over again. All right. Duty. Okay, cool. All right, I got that. Let's get the ground first. Multiply. I think the trees. many all right let's get duty going and then we'll add some snow let's get Darius going first we start with the coat right multiply go with the innards which should be like this there you go
I'm gonna leave that alone there. If anybody missed last night's interview with, um, we had Chris Hayes. He's the convention promoter for the Cowtown Comic Con. But, but what was interesting about that that interview is that he's not only a convention promoter, he's also a comic shop owner. He's also um, uh, a publisher. So he's a comic store owner, he's a publisher, and he's a comic book writer. You know, he does it all. So I thought that that interview was pretty, pretty cool. Is the shoes? No, okay. shoes on a different level. Which is this? I don't know what that is. Where's the hair? Oh, there's the hair. 
I should have labeled it. You know, I was looking up how much it costs to uh, travel on the Orient Express. Um, it is a pretty penny. It isn't cheap. I was like, oh man. And those movies don't make it... Uh, easy
I haven't even done the. Yeah, that's this. Again, I mean, zoom, <laughs> zoom in. I gotta get this. That's that. Okay, so where is that's you? Okay. Now what we're going to do is
Oh oh. from that now what I want is now blue for the opposite side You're getting some yellow, you're getting some blue in there. There you go. Blue from the other side. Um, what else is on this? All right, so just get that blue there. Let's get on this side. that lantern oh what I'm gonna do is the ground where's the ground hold on where's the ground this is the ground overlay we we'll do that blue spray paint Right, but over here we're gonna do some yellow. that that that's that okay so maybe behind that let me get the glow the yellow glow get this the white get this the yellow get the thinner I don't know we'll see
Leave it like that. Where's the flame? Is this the flame? That's the inside of the flame. Is this the end? There's the other side. Alright, so there it is. So maybe I can uh it's like an orangey glow. Orangey glow. So let's zoom in. My dog is so rude. The rudest dog on the planet. Nope, don't like that. Yellow. There you go. Zoom out. So now, maybe underneath this. Oh, I'm still gonna add some snow, and I'll let me add some mist in front of him. So let's get the mist, like a cool. Right, but then add some yellow highlights to this mist here because he's got this. Uh... Oh, I didn't want that's gray. That's not yellow. There you go. I want that some like highlights here. That's gonna get off that, and then this get some blue. got some and then let's top it all off with some uh, snow like a nice little magical curl to the snow you know almost like a musical it's just playing and dancing and maybe like a oh so there it is I believe I'm done there's duty as Ichabod Crane in a spooky winter scene. Um, request courtesy of Joe D. McPhee came from, from the desk of a small press publisher. If you like this episode, guys, give me a thumbs up. Um, you know. And if you like my work, will you consider backing my kickstarter there's an alien in my toilet running right now on kickstarter we are so close to getting funded and we're so close to unlocking the next backer goal and we're just so close to so many cool stuff and cool swag i would love for you to get a copy of there's an alien in my toilet book number three i chihuahua uh with that said i'm gonna turn off this music I had fun today. Thank you, Joe, for joining me today. Love the conversation. I'm going to do my homework. I'm going to go watch Sleepy Hollow. Um, and everybody at New York Comic Con, I hope that you guys rock out and have a successful event. And for those of you in Texas, I'll see you next week at the Dallas Fan Festival. I'm excited about that. So this is How to Draw Duty as Ichabod Crane. I'm Sam the Crazy Man Vera. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. While you're at it, hit that like button, share it with a friend, and pick up a copy of Disney Island in my toilet on DutiesWorld.com. See you next time. Have a great day.